don't forget with Wayne Hawks, Wayne, there aren't enough leading lightweight jockeys for the Doncaster handicap. Bet or forget? Bet. The problem is the quality jockeys and most of the quality jockeys in Australia actually ride 55 and up. So 18 jockeys need to be riding between 54 and a half kilos and 49 kilos. Is there enough of them to do that? Well, there, of course there's going to be enough jockeys, but I'm talking about the quality jockeys. You've got Nash, Rewilla, you've got Hugh Bowman, you've got Ben Mellum, you've got Mark Zara, another bloke called J-Mac or something. They're all going to be watching from the sidelines. Wouldn't the race be better with those guys in it? To play devil's advocate, the one storyline that I like that can sometimes come out of these types of handicaps is the fact that you get these lightweight jockeys who get given an opportunity that they wouldn't normally get. Sure. With that being said, when you go through the Doncaster honour roll, very few of those stories exist. Mainly, they're all the household names. You're, you're talking Williams and Carr, Glenn Boss won six of them. There might be one story in there, James Innes Jr. a few years ago, I remember the scenes post-race when he won, his first group won in a Doncaster. That was nice and that was an opportunity he probably wouldn't have got if he wasn't yeah, no that lightweight doubt. rider. No doubt about that. And there was also, long before you were born, a little jockey called Patrick Payne. He was 16 years old, went to Sydney, won the Doncaster, jumped in the plane, got in his seat and the flight attendant, she walked up and said, Young man, would you like some pencils and crayons to fill in your <laughs> uh, your picture? True, true story. So The children's but, pack, he says, lady, exactly. I just want a group one. <laughs> exactly. Well, Britt, for the controversial part of the week, last Saturday at Bow Desert, the stewards upheld a protest that has everybody up in arms. Bet or forget, did they get their decision right? Forget, no. I think they got it horribly wrong. Horribly? Why? The winner was eased down on the line. I don't know in what world that could be overturned. Did the winner interfere? Marginally. What, you would uphold the protest? Did we get interfered with? Yes. Did you take my running? Yes, you did. Did you get impeded at any stage? No, you didn't. You had clean running. I didn't change my action and I didn't stop riding the horse, but I don't have to do that. The track was a heavy 37. It was underwater. So trying to pick yourself up when you lose your momentum and you half get put on your head, that's where the stewards, without knowing, that's where the stewards have had to have looked at it and said it was underwater and we reckon the horse probably should have won or should have won, should I say? So the answer is... So Wayne Hawks, the steward? Uphold it. All right, last one, Wayne. You know I love this, Mayor. Imperatries will win the TJ. Bet or forget? Forget. I think it's only a two-horse race. My tip will be, I wish I win. Why? How does he beat the inform mare? Well, the thing is, is that Peter Moody's now, I think, going for his third preparation where he's setting him for a big race first up. So the fitness side won't be the issue because Peter will have this horse as best as he can have him on a Saturday. And there's a great saying, train to the minute. I reckon Peter will have him train to the minute this week. Well, I think Imperatrice will continue on her winning way. I think she'll make it an 11th group one. I know there's so many arguments to say, you know, is she going to handle the Sydney way of going? Has she taken on the best of the best yet? But you can only beat what's in front of you and the direction that yep. you're going. This is going to be the big test and she's risen to every other occasion. I, I think she can do the same on the weekend. Gee, this is going to be a good clash. I can't wait for it. And I can't wait to do this all again next week on Bet or Forget. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.